Hello everyone, this is Wylock, third grade worksheet lesson one. So we're going to start off by uh, using subtraction to find the missing add-on. Uh, so we're going to go over a couple of these problems. So uh, number one is 6 plus blank equals 13. And it's also suggesting you use subtraction, obviously. So like, um, so we're going to take the sum right here, which is 13. And we're going to subtract it by 6 in order to find the missing value added. So three, 3 minus 6, you can't do that. So you're going to have to take 1 from here. So that becomes 0. So 13 minus 6 should equal 7. So you put 7 here. So that would be your answer for number 1. Number 2, 8 plus blank equals 20. So we're going to take the sum here, put it in a, in a subtraction equation. So 20 minus 8 equals so. 0 minus 8, you can't do that, so we're going to have to take 1 from 2, so that equals um, 1, so let's put 1 here, subtract 1, so 10 minus 8 equals 2, and since there's 1 left over, we're just going to drag this down here, so your answer for number 2 is going to be 12. Number 3, 5 plus blank equals 27, so uh, once again, we're going to take the sum here, so just 27 subtract it by 5. So 27, so 7 minus 5 is 2. Drag it 2 down, so 22 is the final answer for number 3. Number 4, so 3 plus um, blank equals 11. So we're going to take the sum here, subtract 11 by 3. 1 minus 3, that's not possible, so we're going to have to take 1 from here. So minus... Uh, one here so add one there so it becomes 11 11 minus 3 equals 8 so 8 will be your final answer for number 4 number 5 7 plus blank equals 13 so we're going to take the sum 13 subtract it by 7 3 minus 7 it's not possible we have to take 1 from the tens place so that becomes 0 add 1 here so 13 minus 7 is 6 so 6 should be your answer for, for number 5 Number six, nine plus blank equals 21. So we're going to have to uh, put the sum here, subtract 21 minus nine. So 11 or one minus nine, you can't do that. So you're going to have to take one from here. So that becomes one. And so there's 11 minus nine equals two. So 11, 2, but well, we're going to have to take the 1 over here. So that's going to be 12. So 12 is going to be your final answer for number 6. All right, um, all right, let's move down here to a couple of these problems. So use subtraction to find the difference. So number 1, 70 minus 34. So, all right, so... We one zero minus four, you can't subtract that, so you're gonna have to take one from here. So that equals six, so then that equals ten. So ten minus four is six, and then six minus three is three. So that's gonna be uh, your final answer for number one. Number two, 46 minus 17. So, so you can't do six minus seven, so we're gonna have to subtract or just take one apart, so that becomes three. So 16 minus seven is nine, and three minus one is two all right number three 83 minus 22 so three minus two is one and eight minus two is six so 61 is going to be your answer for number three number four 74 minus 61 so four minus one is three and seven minus six is one so that's going to be your final answer for number four all right let's move on down to all right so it's asking you to write the value of the bolded digit so like uh, the bolded so it's like darker compared to like a normal number so um so first number one we have the number 96 so um so six right here in the ones place it's not bolded so we're just going to ignore that but then the nine in the tens place is gonna is bolded so we're gonna have to write the value of nine zero because it's worth 90 and then six so like this is the 90 part all right number two um, 237, 3 right here in the tenth place is, um, the bolded one, so same as the last one we're gonna add.
it's going to be 30 or just add one zero and depending on like the part there's going to be like more zeros at the end so like that's basically the values all right so number three 487 so seven in the ones place is bolded right here so the value is just going to be seven uh, number four 1292 um we're gonna have to um the one right here in the thousands place is the bolded so since it's in the thousands place we're gonna have to add three zeros so, okay so that's gonna be the value for number four number five 54 we're gonna have to uh, take the four here so so that's going to be the values itself for number five. All right. Uh, we're going to do a word problem. Okay, so let's do like two of these. So Susie sells cups of lemonade. At the start of the day, she had 60 cups of lemonade. She has sold 20 separate cups of lemonade to her friends and 12 separate cups to her church. How many cups does Susie have left? So um, the original total is 60 cups right here. So we're going to have to use this. This is going to be a subtraction problem. So she has sold 20 separate cups. So we're going to subtract that by 20. So 0 minus 0 is 0. 6 minus 2 is 4. And then she sells 4 12 cups of lemonade to the church. So we subtract 12 here. So 0 minus 2, you can't do that. Take 1 here. So that becomes 3. 10 minus 2 is 8. 3 minus 1 is 2. So how many cups does Susie have left? 28 cups of lemonade. Alright, so number two. Freddie reads 55 pages in seven days. On average, how many pages did Freddie read each day? Be sure to show your work. Alright, so Freddie reads 50... Okay, so 50... Uh, 35 pages in seven days so how many pages do you read each day this is going to be a division problem so we're going to have to divide a uh, like this 35 divided by seven so how many times does seven go to three none so we just add a zero here seven goes into 35 five times so we're going to subtract 35 that equals zero and so that's going to equal zero and then five is going to be your final answer so how many pages did Freddie read each day? On average, he read five pages per day.